This is your three-minute radiation fallout forecast for Friday, June 22nd, 2012. This will be the last real-time forecast for the next week. In Canada, radar from the Weather Office at Environment Canada shows very little rainfall across the southern provinces. The only significant rain is north of Quebec City, moving towards Halifax on Saturday. However, as this area coincides with the tropopause, it should be considered high risk. In the U.S., radar imagery from IntelliCast shows widespread rainfall has moved into the Pacific Northwest. This area extends from Eureka north to the U.S.-Canadian border. This pattern will continue for the next 36 to 48 hours as it coincides with the jet stream and tropopause. It should be considered high risk as well. Light scattered rain in northern New England does not appear to have precipitating fallout factors, nor does the current rain occurring across Florida. However, a strong tropical component exists in the Gulf which may grow stronger over the weekend and rain out from core exit may be a concern. In Europe, the Met Office has issued an amber warning for severe weather in the UK. This affects the regions of Northwest England, East Midlands, Yorkshire, North Ireland, Southwest Scotland, Strathclyde, Tayside and Fife, and Wales. Stay tuned to local weather throughout the weekend and avoid all precipitation with these storms. The rest of Europe is also expecting rain, especially in the countries of Belarus, Lithuania, Slovakia, and the Ukraine. The greatest risk of fallout would be for Belarus and Lithuania from this system. Next week, Nukes Radio will run pre-recorded shows and forecast guides for Canada, the U.S., and Europe, outlining a brief history of nuclear issues and basic forecast info so that you may assess whether there is risk to the rainfall on your own. For example, did you know that Canadians are supposed to be protected by an organization called the International Association of Emergency Managers? Did you know that we no longer have a civil defense unit in the U.S. to protect the population from nuclear fallout? And did you know that globally there has been at least 99 nuclear accidents since 1959? Stay informed. If you're not sure about the status of the precipitation in your area, avoid it as a precaution. This is the reality of humans trying to coexist with nuclear power. This message has been brought to you by Ratchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.